Good morning. Welcome back to another edition of Gary's Movie Aquarium. Today, um, uh, a little bit of an apology uh, to you guys out there. Um, I wasn't able to make a video yesterday because we had gotten a little bit more snow than our weatherman uh, said we were going to get. And But before I knew it, I come back in. It was well past when I usually start shooting the video. Uh, and my wife had to be to work at 7, and it just just wasn't in the cards. I hate it when our weatherman is off and tries to justify that. Oh, well, I had said this many inches when the night before I heard her say it was 1.1 inches. And I think we got like 3 or 4. I mean, I thought that's a big deal. But the more snow you get, the heavier it is. And we get like it down in buckets, so in a shorter period of time and I don't think sometimes our weather people realize the rate at which it falls but enough with the weather today's about Dollar Tree uh, pickups and let's get started well, we'll start off with uh, the DVDs as usual because I don't have as many Blu-ray uh, I got a movie that was a Walmart select starring Antonio Banderas Bullethead the law is now the least of their worries there's the very first one lots of vvs films um 94 minutes 2018 uh says it's from millennium Films, so it also has adrian brody uh and john malkovich from uh transformers dark uh side of uh, dark of the moon and red 2 and adrian brody played in Gra the grand budapest hotel on the pianist in case you don't know who that is, that's Bullethead. I've seen this in different videos, but looks kind of interesting. And then next up, I got a sequel to the legendary Noir Friend. This is Friend 2, The Legacy. Uh, fully, full of money bag exchanges and bludgeonings, says uh, LA Times. Pure sensation studded with explosive scenes of violence. Film Journal International. Uh, like I said, this is friend too. It's uh, 16 by 9, 5.1 Dolby Digital. Um, suggested for 17 and up. It says basically this is a mafia slash uh, drama here. Special features are uh, they have a character's. Uh, Extra and a cast and crew interviews and and a tr set of uh, trailers. Oh, this is from CJ Entertainment. Apparently, the first one was in two thousand one, and this one is from based on the back here, two thousand fourteen. I don't know why it took so long to get a sequel, but that's the sequel, friend two. Anybody sees friend one, let me know. I don't think I've seen it anywhere around, but that's the second one in the on the list here. Next up, I got a martial arts triple feature: Jackie Chan Kung Fu Master, John Claude Van Damme, and, and JCVD, and Daniel Madger and Steve Austin in uh, Knockout. Right here, pretty happy to have that with the three tough guys there on the cover. Uh, they're all rated R. No, all but the first one. Jackie Chan's is rated PG. Kung Fu Master clocks in at 85 minutes, followed by John Claude Van Damme with 90 at 97 minutes and Knockout 95 minutes. Uh, they all have the same ratio and widescreen of uh, 178 by one. And let's see. Jackie Chan's movie is from 2009. Van Damme's movie is from 2008. And Kick the uh, Knockout with Stone Cold Steve Austin is 2010. So they're all pretty wrong, much around the same year. But pretty happy to have that one. And next up, i got a movie here starring Daphne Reed, April Marcel, Rofini Whitby. Out of gas, something's something waits at the end of the road. I don't know if this is like a horror or 
whatever it is. I'm not really sure. It's 80 minutes, and it's from Maverick Entertainment Group. You can also go to their uh, link at Maverick ENT. I don't know if it's .com or .net. Doesn't really uh, say here. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. It says dot 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 or www dot maverick entertainment dot cc so can't read what it's about stickers in the way it takes up over half of it up there 80 minutes uh, it does have interactive menus and trailers along with uh, digital surround sound so this should be really good sound but uh don't know much about this one not sure about your movies you can always look them up on youtube and uh, look for the trailers, just put in the right year, and it should, you know, lead you to the trailer for that movie you're looking for. Uh, you can also go online and find these trailers, I'm sure, if you can't find them on YouTube. But I find a lot of them are right here on YouTube. And why not just, you know, while you're watching people's videos, you, you don't just bring up another tab and you can just, you know, watch a video or watch a trailer after a video is done or whatever, you know. Uh, next up, I got a, a movie starring Callum Turner, Caleb Landry Jones, David Thulis, Tamson Egerton, and Richard E. Grant. Queen and Country, it's a BBC title here. I think I might have got this one before, but I'm not sure. 16 by 9, 115 minutes. It says it comes with English subtitles SDH. I'm not sure what that stands for. Not that standard definition. Something I don't know. <laughs> uh, special features: a behind-the-scenes look at the making of Queen and Country. It's very limited fe special features, but more or less picked that one up for the wife. And then next up, that Rush Zone season of the Guardians. This is how uh, Volume One. And it has an NFL sticker logo at the bottom right there. So it's official. Uh, uh, Vivendi Entertainment release. Quite long on this one, 139 minutes. So almost two and a half hours on this one. It says that was on uh, Nickelodeon at one time right there because of the Nickelodeon, the orange little insignia there. Uh, and it says that they work together to protect all 32 NFL teams and their mega cores and stop wild card from enter enacting his diabolical plan. So they took the NFL concept and made it into a little animated feature here. I guess it's episodes though. Yeah. But still pretty cool nonetheless. Next up, The Apocalypse is Now, Disaster Wars. It's probably pretty bad, but I don't know. You can't beat these disaster films like they are. Uh, it's an E1, uh, 85 minutes, 5.1 Dolby Digital. It's classified as sci-fi actioner. Um, apparently, the, in this movie, the storm is going to destroy the Hawaiian Islands. With Hawaii being not a very big, you know, a lot of big islands and stuff, uh, probably would be pretty devastating to Hawaii. Because, you know, they are, I mean, they got a lot of people in one area, but it's a really, really set of tiny islands that, I mean, if there's mass, you know, catastrophes going on, it wouldn't take much to, you know, destroy the city. And just, you know, you know, in the end, they probably, you know, it's a happy ending, I'm sure. That's usually what they do in those kind of movies. And then I picked up one that was kind of fascinating me, especially with uh, November uh, November 6th when we had the election. Uh, this one fascinated me because it's just like how the whole election process works. It's uh, called Election Day, directed by Katie Shavigny. Shavigny. One day to make it count. It's an official selection of the SXSW Film Festival, and I said it, and like I said, it's election day. This is it's a terrific 
cinema uh, documentary, fi finally observed and beautifully filmed, says Robert Lloyd of the Los Angeles Times. Got some, uh, you know, a little bit of overchecking the balloting and stuff. I was, thought that was kind of appropriate with, you know, people saying that the election was rigged and things like that, but thought it was pretty neat to get that. Uh, 84 Minutes, it's a docu-rama films, which I think should have made that little booklet I showed in my last video that come with the docu, uh, docu-rama films, uh, like 40-page booklet. Um, basically, this was shot on the um, day of my birthday, 2004, from dawn until long past midnight, into one. Yeah, it's basically the voting process. It just looks kind of interesting, and there's a look at the back one more time. Just really, you know, something about it kind of stood out to me. And then next up, look up in the sky, the amazing story of Superman, the astonishing history of the world's most popular superhero. I was having trying to have Larry and Melissa grab this one because someone had grabbed it in their uh, picks that they do for what the, what's out there. Because they'll help, you know, they'll pick up stuff that you want. Um, I was able to get this Larry and Melissa, so don't worry about this one. Because I did end up finding it, luckily. I, I was, I seen that, I was like, yeah, I'm grabbing that. Because it's like three, five uh, generations of Superman here. So, pretty cool. Uh, the only one that is not on this is Henry Cavill. But maybe that'll be in a future DVD. And then next up, I got a non-stop adrenaline uh, movie called <laughs> Veteran. He will stop at nothing. A fast-paced tight thriller with suitably brutal close quarters fisticuffs as a Hollywood reporter. Comes with this really cool slip. See how gold it is. Kind of has that 3D imagery going on there. Kind of like it's coming off the page or off the cover. Oh, it's a CJ Entertainment. I don't have many from CJ Entertainment. It even has that going on in the back there, see? See how it looks 3D-ish in a sense? Uh, I don't know if that was done purpose. I would assume it's, you know, done on purpose, but you don't see it very often. Clock's in at 123 minutes, 16 by 9, full English subtitles. And the audio is English and Korean, so you're able to uh, watch in English. I don't know if it's dubbed. It doesn't say that. It just says 5.1, so uh, it's from 2016. Uh, a corny and seasoned police detective immediately has a face-off with a young tyr tyrannical heir to an untouchable mega corporation. The, the spoiled heir will do whatever it takes to sabotage people in his way. It's now going to take the veteran a one-two punch to deliver the brat with some hard and heavy blows of justice. Twitch Films recommends it as well, calling it a hilarious crime thriller. There's a look at the back again. So, it does have some comedy in it as well, apparently. Which I was kind of hoping it did. And I kind of like my action like straight up, like straight up honest, or not honest, but like straight up no comedy, very little. Because those get kind of repetitive after a while. I like uh, Lethal Weapon, but that's my problem with that. It was like it was serious, but it, w it was comical at times too. And I, I don't know, I just like straight up seriousness. I I like comedy if it's a comedy, but like... Now, just to me, I don't think they always mesh with action. Sometimes they get kind of, eh, some of the jokes are kind of, you know, down your back kind of stuff. And it's just like, really brings the movie down in, in some instances for you. Um, this is a DVD plus <clears throat> digital copy. Burning Kiss. Echo Bridge. 81 Minutes. Uh, SP releasing, 
once again the dreaded sticker over the description that I wouldn't be able to read the ends of. Um, 5.1 stereo. Two thousand eighteen, and it's also from Caltiki Pictures, um, starring Liam Grant, Allison Walker, Richard Mellick. Music was done by Christopher De Groot. Um, see. Written and directed by Robbie Studs Studsor. That's a pretty neat cover here. I don't know if it's you know kind of like a. It looks more like an actioner, but it looks like it has a twist of, maybe a slight twist of horror as well. Maybe not. One more look at the front. And then next up, we got a non-stop actioner. Or at least that's what it says. Uh, Guns for Hire. Uh, this stars uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who plays Negan in The Walking Dead. Uh, and he played in... Um, uh, Supernatural as well. Looking back there, because I have a Supernatural sh set that I got from the UK. Uh, I think it was region free. It was like the first 12 uh, seasons. And I took them out of the case because they had them set in these little paper slips, you know, like a kind of like a Mill Creek does. I took them out and I put them in a spindle and set them on top of each other because I thought that'd be better for them than being in those card cardboard sleeves. Uh, <clears throat> and the guns for hire, though. Uh, ben Mendelsohn and Orlando Jones, Sarah Sh Shahi, Michelle Hicks, Tony Shalhoub. Ton oh, ton Tony Shalhoub. Okay. Okay. From um, that USA show. Uh, I can't think of what it's called. <laughs> Tony Shalhoub. He also played in um, Men in Black series. I think he was the... I, I want to say he's the guy that turned. That was the pug in that movie. Uh, and then Ever Carradine. I don't know if Ever Carradine is a relation to uh, John Carradine or, you know, or anything. But I just think that last name's interesting. So I would not doubt that that's the case. Um... One point or one by seventy eight by one widescreen presentation of five point one, approximately eighty two minutes. It's from side sidetrack pictures and big easy pictures. Um I think this was a Canadian release as well, because it does have that uh French Canadian like logo on the back. So don't be surprised when you get it. Uh it says it's from two thousand fifteen as well, so not a long time ago, but, you know, pre-Negan and things like that. It just looks funny to see him with a handlebar mustache, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, up there. But, uh, looks kind of interesting. Looked like he was a little chunkier back then, too. Yeah. So now he's like a rail. Like, you can see his ribs and stuff. I don't know if he went on, like, a protein, you know... You know, cut away from his uh, carbohydrates and all that stuff. But uh, next up was a uh, movie starring Zach Gilford, Jenna Malone, John Sl Sl Slattery, or Slattery, and Gabe Gabriel uh, Union. Two thousand stock wood, two thousand twelve Woodstock Film Festival, a world premiere film festival in two thousand twelve. It's called In Our Nature. Well, it's a flat iron foam company here. Um, when Brooklynite Seth takes his girlfriend Andy to his family's weekend house in upstate New York, my area, <laughs> for a romantic getaway, they are unexpectedly joined by Seth's estranged father, Gil, and his new girlfriend Vicky. The women negotiate emotional minefields to persuade father and son to share their house for the first time since summer vacations at Seth's childhood. Unspoken grudges slowly surface during a weekend of vegan dinners, split maple, spilt maple syrup encounters with the great outdoors, while relationships old and new are tested. 
The group discovers that Bond's a family coming uh, in an unexpected forms from the producers of Meek's Cutoff and Wendy and Lucy. In our nature is a candid, carefully observed portrait of our of our closest relationships. Kind of has that family feel if you took the big chill and turned it into a family story as opposed to the big chill being all friends and you know people having crushes on one another and, but it's very much like the big chill from what I'm reading here uh, that had a, um, Jeff Goldblum and uh, Meg Tilly I believe and several other uh, actors and actresses that were become very prominent after the big chill but um uh, has bonus features audio commentary with director brian Sel selveson and producer anish sabjani and that's in our nature oh. sounds kind of interesting but kind of sounds a little bit uh mysterious as in the same sense you know i don't know a lot about that one <clears throat> and then i got one starring gabriel Jesus, Christian Camargo, and Damon Williams as Wes. It's a Harlem, Harlem Aria, or Area, Follow the Dream. Um, this won uh, Audience Award for Best Film, Urban World, World Film Festival, and Los Angeles Pan-African Film Festival from Magnolia Pictures here. It's rated R. And they do have a magpictures.com link that you can go to. to uh, and I believe it has the actor. Yeah, I think it's the actor who played in, um, what was it called? Maybe Get Out, was it? Yeah, I want to say that's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, but. Chasing his dream, Anton leaves his aunt's home in Harlem for downtown New York City where <clears throat> a quick-witted witted street hustler named Wes cons him out of his life savings. Homeless and empty-handed Matthew, a street music musician, stalled at, in his own dreams, uh, invites Air Anton to perform with him in the park. Amazed by Anton's... Uh, Singing talent, Matthew befriends him and attempts to keep him safe from Wes's enterprising, enterprising exploitation. Caught in the middle, Anton's journey isn't an easy one. Isn't an easy one. Um, the three men, three men's lives entwined, lead each down a path of destruction, truth, and redemption. So, uh, it's rated R, like I said. If I didn't say that, on a, clock's in at a hundred minutes. So. Oh, it was a very interesting to have uh, Damon Wayans on the cover here. You don't normally see him in these kind of movies, but it's interesting nonetheless. And next up, I got a uh, two bonus movie. Well, you might better say three movies total here. Uh, it's called Double Echo, that being the main feature, along with All Things to All Men and Heist. An Echo Bridge. Uh, Bannered film here uh, with two. From, it's uh, between the three. It clocks in at 265 minutes, so just shy of 300. So that would put that, these movies somewhere around 100 100 minutes each, somewhere around there. But yeah, um, the first one. First movie, the main movie here is from 2019. Well, it's this 2018, so the artwork was okay. 2018, not 2000. The artwork was uh, 2019. Um, I've always seen the dates on the other. Well, the third one I don't. I the second one I do, but not the third one. I want to say the second one says 2014, which would be all things to all men, but uh. Pretty happy to have that. And then next up, I think this might be totally French with 
Yeah, English subtitles, which might be all right. There might not be a lot of talking. It kind of looks like it's cinema based here, you know, like like where you go to the cinema or whatever, because the cover kind of screams like this guy that's in love with the cinema, I guess. I don't know. Really don't know much about this one. Because um, uh, it's clocked in at 104 minutes. It's an E1. Um, 16 by 9, 235 by 1. It does come in uh, French audio as well. It's for 2008. Uh, Marguerite didn't expect to have her purse stolen as she's left the store. Or that the thief would scatter the contents in, in a parking lot. As for as for Georges or Hor, I guess that's how you pronounce that. Georges, uh, if he if he suspected anything, uh, he wouldn't have bent over to pick it up. So it's getting a lot of praise. It's got four stars, exceptional, four stars, a charming tale, delightful. So I don't know if it's a guy that meets a lady. Due to you know her the purse being stolen and then he picks it up and tries to get it back to her. I have no idea. That's just kind of the, I don't know if it's like a love interest movie. It doesn't really say an awful lot. The synopsis is probably one of the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, Wild Grass, and I'm not going to try to say the real name in French because it's like really out there uh, name uh, Matt LeBlanc, Ali Ladder, and Ada I don't know if it says Rodriguez Cause I, yeah Adam Rodriguez and Chevy Chase yeah Chevy Chase is right there front and center well not front and center but up there at the top in the front and front and towards the top uh, Love Sick Love Can Make You Crazy. This has a uh, Matt LeBlanc in it uh, from Friends. I believe that's what show he's from. I didn't ever watch that show, so I can't really tell you if he was, but I think he was. VVS Films. Charlie Darby has everything going for him. A great job. Friends, family, the whole package. The one thing that Charlie doesn't have is love because every time he gets close to someone, he goes clinically insane. When he meets the perfect girl, Ali Louder here, uh, Char Charlie must overcome his psychosis and claim his chance at true love. So, thought it'd be interesting to get something with Matt LeBlanc in it. I don't have a lot of that. But, uh, it's love sick. This is the final DVD here. At this point, I'm not sure if we even, you know, don't have this already because they bring out so many of these Sesame Street ones. Uh, this is a 123 Sesame Street TV favorites, the best pet in the world. Uh, my son loves Elmo, so we just, you know, we see Elmo, we pick it up. Even if it means like five repeats, you know, because it just seems all so new when you go back to the store sometimes. Uh, 55 minutes on this one. Uh, it does have a warnervideo.com uh, link that you can go to as well. I don't know if it's still, you know, viably working and all that, but um, let's see. Standard version presented in format, preserving the aspect ratio of its original television ex exhibition. So nothing was harmed or touched versus the TV version. So whatever was uh, shot from the TV made it to this. So if it wasn't the greatest episode in terms of quality, then I'm sure the DVD matches the same. So that's uh, Sesame Street. And then I got three more Blu-rays here, and that concludes this video this morning. First up, I got a movie called War Pigs. Victory is the only option. So it stars Luke Goss, Dolph Lundgren, Chuck Liddell, and Mickey Rourke. Pretty good uh, cast there. Rated R, it's a Cynodyne title. Um... Uh, Yeah. Thought I had a runner for a minute. 
Yeah, I think it's a paper or an insert or something. I'm going to open it here in a minute. Uh, 88 minutes on the movie. Basically, it's about an army captain who uh, was in World War II and he's uh, disgraced in terms of like his... Um, Kind of like his uh, image of, in the military. He's given the opportunity for redemption. He's asked to lead a ragtag unit of misfits known as the War Pig Pigs on a secret mission. They must go behind enemy lines to uncover and capture a Nazi-developed super weapon, the V3. A massive artillery cannon that would give the Nazis an un unsurmountable advantage against the Allies. So basically it's Dolph Lundgren and... This cat, this crew of mercenaries here going in to uh, take out, you know, anyone and everyone they can to get this uh, V3 from seeing the light of day, basically. But uh, sounds pretty cool. But like I said, I'm going to open this really fast. Just want to rule out that it wasn't a disc, but it sounded like a paper to me happens sometimes they set around and then they i don't know i like to call them they phantom uh, float these days <laughs> sometimes they they become runners overnight i don't know i don't get it it just happens sometimes okay just that it was uh not very secured in here but they got they don't really have like nice like cover like art but i really like the silver on the black and then they got this like skull uh skull between the war pig banner there see it right there it's like a skull with a what's well, i guess it's an american soldier i guess with a, i don't know that's the way i take it but um synodime did a pretty nice job with this uh particular release especially for going directly to video i have never at least i've never seen it playing going to play in theaters unless i got limited release and next i got a lee byung hung and gang dong Won and kim woo bin uh master deception corruption and conspiracy oh, i did not notice that slip cover was ripped jeez hate that oh man that makes me mad look at it right there guys see it right there that makes me mad uh, that just makes me just want to just ditch the slip cover wow there's no way to fix that either i mean yeah i could put tape on it but ugh, don't like to do that either because then that tape wears off over time and then you got a um, yellow stain on it where the sticky stuff or you know that coarse um uh like sticky tape kind of feel to it and i don't really like to do that but uh yeah if i ever get a chance i might just get another master with, with a slip that isn't ripped <laughs> But uh, I don't mean to bring the video down with that, but I just it's a little rat. Uh, CJ Entertainment on this one, 5.1, 143 minutes. So better be well worth it because it's clocks in there for what, nearly two and a half hours. Pretty long for an actioner, even if it's really good. Might be a little tough to set through. Um languages korean english dub that's good 5.1 it's just I, i'm not really big on long films i don't i think hollywood likes to make movies a little too long and i love the marvel series of movies but a lot of them are way too long i think they could have did stuff in half the time and kept the budget down a little bit i just don't like overdoing it on these you know like movies like they have action in them and stuff because a lot of it's not even action sometimes it's just like really drawn out uh backstory and oh details that being because it's so long you're gonna kind of 
forget a little bit of it, you know? I just, I don't know. I just like to keep movies under a couple hours. Anything over that gets to be a little bit overkill for me, no matter what it is. Um, like I said, this is uh, the Master, or Master. And it does have, like, this coming up. I would have... Yeah, I don't know how anybody would have bent that like that. I don't even know if that was like that. Man, I like to think that did, we didn't do that. <laughs> uh, highly entertaining. Runs uh, One Network Inc., a company with an extensive network covering Korea. The chief of the intellectual crime investigation team suspect One, one Network's involvement in a fraud case of unprecedented scale. So... Basically, sounds like a fraud case going on in this movie. Uh, I don't know if he takes it to a different country, because it says something about Jin moves operations out of Korea. And then in Jin, six, six months later, news about Jin's uh, death stirs the country once again. So, it sounds kind of like it's all over the place a little bit. Might not be that good, but... But, uh, I like that cover art there. And, oh, I like the slip cover until I seen it ripped, but eh, I might just ditch the slip. I don't really need it. Uh, Simon Helberg, Melanie Lins Linsky, I can't see the last name. We'll never have Paris. He's got a passport in hand there. Uh, rated R, 92 minutes, Orion Pictures. It's based on a true story, unfortunately. www.vay.tv. <laughs> uh, www, uh, so, a little uh, side note there on that. 2014, 92 minutes. If I didn't say it's rated R for uh, sexual content and language. Uh, I can't read it because it's got... I mean, I could, but I... I'd miss a lot of the details over here, but uh, that concludes my video this morning, and I'd like to thank you for watching another edition of the Aporium's uh, Dollar Tree Pickups. Uh, please uh, share, like, and subscribe, ding that bell for notifications, and feel free to give me an upvote for the effort, or, or even if you don't, don't like it, at least leave a comment. Um, you know, or like I said, ring that bell for notifications when I drop another a new video. Uh, take care, and I'll see you again, guys. See you later. Bye.